Welcome everybody, this is uh, the new trends endpoint. Um, it's uh, part of the Odd Alerts API beta, or beta, however you wanna say that word. Um, and uh, I'm gonna be running this beta until January, uh, January, <laughs> until September um, from June, um, which is right now 24th of June as I record this. And um, yeah, I'm gonna take it endpoint at a time, try and build the best football API for people that are interested in betting and, and stats. That's that's pretty much the aim here. Um, and I wanna try and make it as human as possible, as easy to understand as possible. I've used APIs in the past that are not easy to use. They, they, t they have a learning curve. I don't think they should because it depends what, what your use case is here. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at people that wanna make betting models. I'm looking at people that want to get their hands on this kind of data. Um, people that want to set up simple applications for themselves um, and yeah we'll see how we go and this is why I'm doing the beta to see what kind of endpoints people want see what kind of data people want um, and I'll just give you an example with this new trends one so the the aim with the trends endpoint is for you to select a stat and it shows you all of the best teams for that stat so emulating the trends pages on the website um, where you can look at a trends page and it's a kind of reflection of how many times that bet has won. So for home wins, here are the best teams for home wins. So, you know, it's ranked on how many times that bet has won, which is, in their case is a home win. Um, so this is Postman, this this website that I'm on right now. And it's a, it's a place where you can collect your API URLs. So you can see on the left hand side here, I've got the Odd Alerts API and a new get request for the trends um, endpoint, which is here. So we've got this URL and a the API token, and then you just put in your API token. It's masked at the moment whilst I'm recording. Um, this trend parameter here, if we scroll down, you can see that it's a path variable. Now, if I delete this, that disappears. So you could just put in here home win, okay? And everything would work. But then you'd have to go up here and, and you know change it to draw. And this, and you can see that it's, it's, it's changing down here. That it, it is working. But when you just do this um, and set it as a path variable with that colon there, then it just makes it a little bit easier for you to just save things. And we can just save that. And then it's always there. Um, easy to just have variables set rather than doing everything in the URL, as you'll see in a minute. So by default, um, you'll have this info array first, um, which is kind of a, an anchor when, when you open the endpoint. And I want to have this across all of the endpoints. As I say, I want to make this end, this uh, API a bit more human, a bit more readable, um, easy to understand. So you can see what, what trend is this? This is the, the home wins trend that you're looking at right here. And even though you've got no uh, settings or filters in the URL up here, you can still see which ones are available um, and it'll show you the current settings. So for most of these, it's false because these are you know, filters on the stats and the odds. Um, but for the sort, it's gonna sort by the stat for default. The duration is one day for default, so 24 hours. Um, and there is one, uh, this is the first page, 250 results per page, 345 results. So we have two pages that we can go at um, and Actually, I will just add a page parameter here. Default is one, and there we go. So when you check on one of these, let's check on the minimum odds. And you can see there's a little description here that I put in. So minimum odds set one for games with odds only. If you're not actually bothered about you know um, restricting the odds, but you only want games with odds, then just set one. Um, let's set 1.6 and let's also set a minimum stat so 60 percent so this is for home win percentage so this will show me games in fact let's go 70. Um, so teams that have won 70 percent of games and the, the odds are 1.6 or higher so let's hit send 19 results um, we've got a game from chile and the cup we've got a game from usa we've got a game from usa again um, and you can see these are the stats that are included. So you have a stats object inside there. You have 
the home team and the away team. And they will both have the same stats for you to look over. Um, keeping it simple, at first, it's the stats that are relevant to this market. Um, obviously, you could extend that relevance. You could say that goals are relevant and, you know, uh, goals are in there. But I mean, how many times they've scored two or three or whatever. Um, but you can see that it's quite basic at the minute. You've got the amount of times they've lost, drawn, um, the amount they've conceded on average and totals. Um, and this will change depending on the trend you're looking at. So again, this is just part of making this easy for you, making it as effortless as possible for you, really. Um, and then there will be ways in the future for you to include certain stats uh, should you need them. Um, so we can see the odds there as well, and you can get a timestamp of when the odds were updated. You get the kickoff time here, and this is converted into your time zone based on your settings on the Odd Alerts website. So this is a benefit of, of Odd Alerts being around before launching an API as well, because we've got the user base that have already been working and having accounts on the site. It means that we can have settings on the site that then uh, translate over to the API pretty effort effortlessly as well. Um, so time zone is just one good example. Um, but you can imagine maybe in the future, if you've already got this game in bet tracking, maybe we can show that. Or if you've already saved it to favorites, maybe that can be included as well, you know? Um, the perks of having an API on top of an existing uh, platform. Um, yeah, so that is how you just set it up in, in Postman. If you've got any questions, which I'm sure people will, because I, I think for a lot of people, I'm, I'm kind of introducing the, the APIs in general and and data like this in this kind of format to a few people. Um, I've had a lot of messages, a lot of DMs um, since the value bets uh, Jason export launched. Um, happy to take the questions, happy to help um, really. Um, but yeah, this, this, is, this is yours to do what you want with it really. I mean, the, the data is there. Um, just another one as well, the duration here, if we add this, uh, we can look at the next five days by doing this and we can just put that in there. Um, you'll now see the next five days worth of games and we are still going to be using all of these rules and filters that you set up here. So that is um, a very basic introduction into the trends endpoint. Um, you can start playing with it now. The API key is on your settings page. There is a, a new article on the insights blog. Um, on the website, which details all this. Um, I will be adding this video to that page. So if you're watching on that page, hello. And um, I will also be adding a link to this very Postman workspace so that you can just clone it much easier. Um, so you don't have to set any of this up. Okay, enjoy.